Hello and welcome to the wonderful world of the introduction to Google Classroom. So today I'm going to walk through three things. Number one, how to create a classroom. Number two, the layout of all the tools available. And number three, how to add people, specifically teachers, other teachers, students, and guardians of your students. So let's jump in. So come on over and open up a browser and let me show you a few things first off. Uh, number one, if you are at Google, a web page here at Google, notice that up in the top corner you see the nine squares there. You can access Google Classroom in that manner, right there. Or number two, you can type it in classroom.google.com. But what I like to do rather is create a shortcut. Notice up here a shortcut. If you just click up here on the lock icon, you can drag it down into your bar just down here and notice there's a now duplicate of that. And why is that helpful? Because if I were at some other page here, I can just quickly click on that and Google Classroom would show up. So that speeds up a lot. I would encourage you to show your students that too because what happens is that oftentimes I've found that students will type in the word classroom as a search then they click on Google Classroom in this way and that saves a lot of time if you just have it quickly up here rather than them doing a search so here we are in the wonderful world of Google Classroom and our first thing we want to do is notice we have no classes here so go on up to the plus on the top right and hit the plus and we're going to create a classroom create a classroom. Now I'm also going to show you what the students see on their end. So let's go ahead and create the classroom. This one here is going to be called Google Classroom Practice. And section is like what cycle it is. In our case we'll do number one. What subject is this? Uh, I will say education. Um, and my room number doesn't matter. But uh, if you do have a room number, good to uh, put that in. And I'm going to hit create right there. So it's going to take a few moments to load here. There we are. So let me walk you through a few things about the layout right here. Number one, this triple line, also called sometimes the hamburger menu, has just uh, your classes, your current classes, the calendar view, which helps you to see what's, what's due and what's coming up. So this is a nice tool, especially for students, and we'll show you that in a different video. Uh, things to review, these are your classes that are current. You can just click quickly into those. Your archive classes and settings here. But I'm just going to stay here at this main uh, view here of my particular class. Now, while we're here, I will let you also look at updating uh, themes too, if you'd like to. So let's say, for example, yours is more of a science theme here. You can click on one of these and it completely changes the, the color scheme all across. So as we see here, notice that uh, things are darker and even icons down below here are going to be a different color later. So I found that uploading a photo doesn't actually give me a good color that I want. For some reason, it, it poorly... Um, its opacity or its its hue is a lot different than what you expect. So um, you're welcome to try that, but you don't have to. All right, so let's go and uh, see here. So this is our stream on the very top. And uh, this is just everything that you've communicated with your students, whether it's classwork or announcements or material, etc. Newest stuff comes on top. Uh, classwork here, and we're going to look at this in a separate video. But this is just the classwork that you're going to add uh, so students can get graded on that or have discussions. People, we're going to add people. And lastly, the top one here is grades, which currently we don't have any. Uh, settings, let's look at settings real quick, which is the cog on the top right. Uh, you can update description if you would like or even change your class name, section, etc. Uh, here, class code for students, and we'll show you that in just a moment. Uh, depending on the maturity of your students, the stream here, this gives them the ability to post and comment, only comment on things that you have posted, for example, uh, or only teachers can post or comment. That might be helpful uh, if you found that your maturity level is very low for the students uh, or they don't have a lot of self-control. 
Um, I usually post it as a high school teacher right here. Students can only comment. Uh, you also have the ability to delete comments later that you find inappropriate uh, or just something you don't want posted. All right, so that's where I generally uh, make that change here. I also want to point out that uh, Guardian Summaries, this toggle here gives uh, com uh, excuse me, Guardians, uh, it says they will receive a summary of their students' work. Um, so I'm going to say yes to that, uh, that they're allowed to do that. And you can get more information if you click on that. And lastly, I'm going to generate a Meet link. And this is just, this link right here is for everything in my classroom that anytime I, I'm on for help or I'm doing a class, this code right here will always be for my specific classroom. All right, so I'm going to hit save there. Now let's go into adding people because you can't really have a class without students. Now the first thing is that you can add teachers. You can give paraprofessionals uh, access and right there if you would like or another teacher if you co-teach or even if you just want another teacher to be able to see things. Maybe you have a special ed teacher uh, that wants to follow along how their uh, particular caseload are doing. You can do that here as well. So I often will add a para and also one of the special ed teachers on in my classroom. I'm going to cancel that for now. Uh, students. How to add students. There are two ways to add students. One of them is that you can give everybody this code. So for example, uh, let me go back to the main screen here. Uh, if, if we had a classroom in person and everybody had a Chromebook in front of them, you could say, hey class, and you can click on that icon right there and say, please go to your Google Classroom and enter this code and you can even make it super large. Let me show you what that looks like from a student perspective. So here I am as a student and right now I have no classes. So if I go to student and join a class, I have the option of entering that code in XMRV2FF, uh, okay? And I can hit join and the students will join, okay? And it's gonna take a moment here to load up. Now, let's say that you don't have access, that you're not in person with the students. So I'm going to uh, click out of here and unenroll as a student here just so you can see what it looks like when we send an invite. So I'm gonna come back here to teacher view and I'm gonna to go to people and I'm gonna send an invite exactly as I did uh, for uh, the teacher. So add a, te a student. In fact, you can do multiple students. You can add a whole bunch of students all at the same time uh, here, but let me just uh, enter me right now. Okay, so I'm gonna invite, and this is what it's gonna look like for the students. Notice it's invited, I, the student hasn't accepted it yet. So the student, uh, him or herself, will see it in two ways. Either they can see from Google Classroom and hit join, or they can be, if they're in their email, notice it says here, you have a class invite for practice. And so if a student clicks on that, they have the option here to, um, to join that classroom. Okay, so, but from here, Google Classroom, as a student, I'm going to join. And notice that my screen as a student looks almost the same as a teacher screen. So here's the teacher screen for the stream. And so notice, as a student, I can't see grades. And as a student, I don't have any, um, the settings up here. Okay, so now, as a teacher here, I have, I've created a classroom, I've played with a few settings, and I've added some people, maybe other teachers or students. The last thing that you are allowed to add is that you can invite a guardian to receive summaries of student, of how students um, are doing. All right, so I'm gonna invite an, a guardian, and again, all you do is enter their email and you send the invite, and we just you just say, wait until they are, uh, they've accepted that. And this, the teacher, excuse me, the, uh, the guardian will see it in their email and they can accept it. Uh, they also have the option of, of not, they could say, oh, I'm not the um, guardian and they can decline it. Uh, something you would, uh, then you would have to re uh, remove this guardian and uh, create, excuse me, uh, find their correct email like that. All right, so we're gonna stop the video here because we've 
accomplished our three goals. We've created a classroom, I've shown you the layout, and we've added some people. So in the next video, we're gonna spend time looking at classwork and how to grade that classwork. So thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you in just a bit.